There's two different philosophies out there when they're teaching kids initially how to float and how to take a breath. Some are going to teach that they quickly pop up out of the water, take a breath, and put their head back down. Once you pick your head up and out of the water, your body's going to go vertical as opposed to horizontal, and you're more likely to sink and then also intake water. Whereas if you roll onto your back, we've gotten kids that are six, seven months old, they can roll onto their back and they can float there for 10 minutes. We teach the rollover method. This allows us to then transition into doing half of the roll and then incorporating a side breath for freestyle. The rollover method can be done very easily with a little bit of help from an instructor by simply moving the head. All they have to do is roll them over from front to back. And once they've mastered that, typically you can let go of them and they can do it all on their own. In level two of our curriculum, we are gonna teach them how to roll over onto their back completely on their own. In level three, they're gonna transition into a side breath. About 80% of the kids that come through our programs end up on our swim team or someone else's swim team. So we'd rather teach them the correct habits from day one as opposed to teaching them something that is gonna be wrong eventually and someone's gonna to have to then fix.